After a long Impa epic at Mount St. Helens, Brian and I had planned an off day in Seattle. We woke up, ate breakfast, did laundry in the Home Depot bucket, and needed to think of what to do. The dirt looked perfect, and it didn't take much deliberation that we should just go ride Tiger Mountain today instead of tomorrow. After our climb to the summit, we descended a flowy blue trail called East Tiger Summit. It's a good warm-up before the blacks, and rewards you with speed when pumping all the rollers. The first black we hit was OTG, or off the grid. The speed picked up a bit, but there wasn't anything too sketchy. Just a couple of rooty sections you could roll, and some rollers that allowed you to catch some air. We could have continued on OTG, but opted to try out No TG, or New Off The Grid. It's a more natural trail that has some bigger drops and steep sections. This is my favorite type of trail building that I've seen at Tiger, the adjacent Raging River, and Chuckanut Mountain in Bellingham. Narrow, steep, and technical single track that's approachable enough to ride blind, but that constantly keeps you alert for what's coming next.
After traversing back to the climbing trail, we made our way back to the top to ride the double black Predator. I was definitely afraid to ride this trail blind and without someone leading me. The trail descends 1400 feet in a mile and a half, so it's rather steep the whole way down. I rode a bit more tentatively, which can get you into more trouble if you half commit a line. I chose my sections to walk and looked forward to cleaning the whole trail another time. Ooh. Didn't see that one. Oh, shoot. That is gnarly. Not today. Sometimes you gotta know when to just walk it. That was awesome, yeah. I, I lost traction in one spot and just like slid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, this is technical for sure. Predator really has it all. 
One minute you're in a fast, flowy jump line, and the next you're pushing your front tire over something you're hoping is rollable. It's just steep ledge after steep ledge. Tiger Mountain was an absolute blast to ride, and the Evergreen Mountain Bike Alliance has put in a ton of great work over the last several years. Check out their website to see what projects they're currently working on, and consider donating some money or time for building awesome trails. Next time on the ultimate United States mountain bike road trip, we add a destination that somehow wasn't on our original itinerary. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next adventure.